For the first time in WA, a euthanasia bill will have support from three of our major political parties. They were brought together by the Perth doctor who's under investigation for her own admissions about helping a suffering patient die. She's the Fremantle GP who admitted to giving a terminally ill patient a lethal injection and today she showed her supporters she has a political alliance. Unfortunately it took someone like me to stand up and say, hey, catch me if you can, but this is what needs to change. Alita Lancey wants an end-of-life bill for WA, working together with Greens MP Robin Chappell, Alana McTiernan hoping to re-enter state politics for Labor next March and resigned Liberal Minister Tony Simpson, who's at odds with his party, by offering his support. I think it's something in the wider community we've got to have that conversation, and our time is pretty much perfect. We've seen that the majority of the population uh, support this, they want action on this, only those given six months or less to live would be considered for the euthanasia. It would be doctor-administered and each case assessed by a panel of experts. If successful at the state election, the plan is for each poly to put the legislation to a conscience vote. Mr Chappell shot down twice before, but now optimistic. To actually have a tripartisan view that we're all going to go down exactly the same path is a novel in the extreme. Ms Lancey remains under police investigation, but... I'm not scared. Renee Henry, Nine News.